Welcome everybody, we are back in Pinecrest. As the saying goes, it's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. And right behind us, we have a $5.8 million completely rebuilt home on 45, well just over 45,000 square feet of land. It's a huge yard. The house itself is just under 6,000 square feet of living space. You have six bedrooms, six bathrooms, all the bedrooms are en suite bedrooms here, okay? And then of course you have a guest bath. So we're gonna come down over here and we'll show you the house. But before we go inside, we gotta talk about the exterior. As we mentioned, you're over 45,000 square feet of land and you have this beautiful driveway right here. You have the concrete pavers with the artificial turf in between, which is really nice, nice modern sleek design. And the landscaping is beautiful as well beautiful oak trees all around here, all right? And then you lead up to the house and you're noticing on the exterior, you have that stonework that gives it a little bit of a more modern pop. And then you have the soffits here with the tongue and groove Kumaru wood. Now it's a smart home, so you have control four. Your guests, you have it at the gate. Obviously there's gates in the front where you'll have this similar system. We also have it here so you could open the door or you have a finger. That means you have a fingerprint. You could put your finger right here, fingerprint access granted or it'd be like access granted and then you can go in and open the door beautiful big swivel door here i guess you can call it a smart door now we have smart doors it's a thing right so you walk in my favorite part of the house is you walk in and you're into this space the huge space right this is your one big great room just under six thousand square feet of living space right so this is where you're going to spend all of your time you have your family room here, you can put a TV on that wall. You have the formal living here to socialize, maybe not watch as much TV. And then you have your formal dining and it's all surrounding your beautiful kitchen. If you notice the floors here, it's actually a porcelain floor. It's 48 by 48, looks like travertine, but it's not. It's smooth to the touch. Super, super nice. I love it because it gives it a warm, kind of sandy feel, which is really nice. And then you notice the kitchen has the similar tan elements, right? So it's very warm and inviting, not so much grays and blacks and all that. It's the tan and more natural colors, right? So really nice here. You have your Calacata quartz countertops here, and it's on this huge island as well. You're cooking, you have a gas cooktop. You're overlooking your entire living space, right? You have your hood right here, and then you have your sink, and you know how I feel about sinks with a view. Your sink here has every cool equipment you could imagine is super cool. You have like one, two, you, have, you know, a lot, a lot of faucets here, but you know how I feel about views. You're looking out to your massive backyard there, which is super nice. Again, over an acre of land and your summer kitchen is actually right here. So it's nice. You could open this and even hand things to whoever's in the summer kitchen outside, but we'll get out there in a second, right? So you have your cooktop here. It's a bush, Bosch, not bush, Bosch and you have your microwave and your oven here in its Bosch as well. And you have your wine fridge here. And then we pass where the refrigerator was back there. It's all nice and flush. I love how you have the waterfall down here on the countertops and you notice the beautiful veins that actually match the colors and the scheme throughout the property that we're noticing. But this space here is so inviting, so warm and inviting. I personally love it. Now we'll come down over here. I'm going to show you, as we mentioned, there's six bedrooms, six bathrooms, and your, your obviously your, your guest bath. Over here, we'll show you the first bedroom and then kind of give you an idea. All right, so this is bedroom number one of five on this side of the house. You have your bed here, your two nightstands, your closet, and then you have your own bathroom here as well. I love the tiling that they put throughout the, the bathroom is beautiful. Kind of looks like a terrazzo, but it's not. And this one's uh, the cabana bath, so it goes out to the pool, all right? And then we're gonna go back down over here, kind of give you an idea. We'll have one, two, three, four more bedrooms, all en suite, all with their own bathroom. And then this is your guest bath that I was mentioning to you, of course, so that way your guests don't have to enter the bedrooms to use any of the bathrooms. So that's, those are the secondary bedrooms, right? Um, what's nice is some of them even have a view of the backyard and that last one goes out to the pool, but this is obviously back to the highlight, the entertaining space, right? George is doing the moonwalk and we're gonna go show you this side of the house where the primary suite is and then we'll take you outside. Over here, you have your laundry room. Such a beautiful, nice laundry room. I actually would wanna do laundry there. And then you have the garage, two car garage. You have some beautiful antique cars there. And there's actually a room in the garage that you could use as another bedroom or storage or a gym. It's a good size room. 
Now we enter the primary suite. So over here is the primary suite, which is pretty sweet. It's a huge bedroom here. You have a seating area right over here, so you can sit down, read a book, talk to each other and converse at night. And then here you have the actual bedroom. This is where you're gonna sleep at night, right? With the two nightstands, and then you can put a TV up on that wall and just sleep, because this is where a third of your life is. That's super important. Now, down that way you also have your primary suite bathroom. It's a beautiful bathroom with the floating vanity, the, the black kind of dark gray countertop with the brown accent below, and you're looking out to the backyard, which is so, so nice. You also have a tub, all of that overlooking the backyard. I mean, that's a beautiful primary bathroom, right? Now, there's two walk-in closets. They're really good sized closets, but then we have this bonus space over here. So come on in down here. This is an office, right? An office is just for the primary suite. It could also be a third closet if you needed a third walk-in closet, or it could be like a more intimate, maybe a TV screening room for you and your loved one. So you guys come here and you're literally just away. The kids, your five kids that have all of them have their own bathroom, they're on the other side having fun, but you're in here just relaxing, right? So that's nice. That's an important room to have, right? Now, as we mentioned, you have access to the outside. We can go out through here, but we're gonna go through the living space. So we're gonna come back down this way just to give you a better flow of the house. So. Come back out over here, we're back to the living space, and now we go outside. Come on, shake you out. You have the pocket doors that go all the way, which is really, really nice, so you're entertaining, and you really get a sense of indoor, outdoor living. Big covered area here, again, with the tongue and groove on the ceiling, and you have your out of this world summer kitchen. Look at this countertop, black countertop, nice and thick beautiful, really nice texture as well. It's very smooth. You have your grill here, you have your burner, you have a little fridge, you have an ice maker, you have everything you'd need, and of course a sink, because that's important. If you're entertaining, if you're having fun out here, of course, you need to have everything you need right here. You don't want to go back inside, all right? But your entertaining space here, you're covered, and you're overlooking this massive backyard. You have nice little area here to relax and lounge and then you have over here is the actual pool i kind of like the the cool unique design of the pool it gives it a little a little character right and when you're looking at the house from this way you see the beautiful roof you see those the soffits with the tongue and groove you actually see those accents from here which is super important i love the pool deck as well it's a nice gray light gray uh you know slab which is really really nice you have an area here to lounge you have so much space back here to do wonders. You can do a basketball court. You could do soccer field. You could do whatever you want. You have so much space, right? Maybe if you put a soccer field, you know, Messi might come and get Messi. <laughs> like Leo Messi, like I'm talking about Messi, the, the, the soccer player. You know, like I was saying, whatever. It was, it was a pun that was no fun. <laughs> Anyways, that's the end of the tour. $5.8 million estate in Pinecrest. House was completely rebuilt. It's beautiful home. One story, simple, modern, elegant, has just what you need, not too much, not too little. And you're close to all the best schools in the area as well. A lot of people move down here just because of the schools. So that's something to keep in mind. That's the end of the tour. As the saying goes, it's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. Make sure you go like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and, and thanks to Monica Betancourt. We appreciate you letting us tour this beauty. Thanks so much. Peace and love. See you next week. Thank you so, so much to Monica Betancourt. Without you, we wouldn't be here right now. So thank you. Thanks for having us Thank here. you we for coming. It. Thank you for coming. It's a beautiful place in Pinecrest. And it I know is. you're a Pinecrest it guy is. too. So. You know what they say, right? We're not Miami. We're Pinecrest. There we go. I love it. Yes, that was not planned either. I tested her and she got it. That was good. Love it. <laughs>